Hello, welcome to Working Help Desk Tickets with Irvin, also known as Kabumin. This is a place where we learn how to work help desk. This is number 27 in this series, so let's just keep him going. We're going strong, which is very, very important. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Working Help Desk with your buddy Irvin, also known as Kabumin. We're going to continue with follow-ups just as usual and then we're going to continue working these other tickets uh, fresh topics if you want to know more details about the follow-ups that we do please watch a previous video uh, there is a link well I'll, i will make it come up <laughs> up up here up here on, on the right somewhere but there's always a link on my channel so if you go to just my channel you'll see the previous video which is number 26 this one is number 27. by the way if you've never watched my videos and you see that there are uh, many topics in this video, especially in the thumbnail that you're looking at, you know, like you'll be like up to five usually topics. I also separate those topics in separate videos and put them on my second channel, which is called Kobuman Knowledge Base. And exactly for those reasons, as the title says, it's going to be a knowledge base uh, channel. Well, it is a knowledge base channel already. I, I have a lots of videos over there already. But the point of it is, as just like a knowledge base, you can just go there, search for a possible solution for something that you're working on, and you may get a video from me that talks about that. So I will post a link to that if you'd like to subscribe to that. Thank you to all people who subscribed already. Um, it's getting up there. Let's see if we can get it to up to 500 subscribers. That would be awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really hate to ask people this because it's annoying, but... Uh, I would really like to see that channel eventually get 1,000 subscribers so that way other people can find it because it's useful. It's useful. And it's 100% free. Everything's free. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to start with follow-ups. Uh, just to take a quick roll call, uh, if you don't mind, please in the comment below just say hello, hi, or present. Sort of like in the class, we're taking a roll call to see how many people are uh, still interested in this type of content and I do see that some people leave a comment that support me in making more videos and I really appreciate that it's a big deal for me it really is all right we do have a notification here let's see who responded to our previous uh, video uh, looks like we have a response from Daisy uh, Marquez and it should be for one of the tickets that we worked on uh, maybe not let me see it's probably something that I've so this is a week ago we are we already seen this one Oh, okay, so it's it's the same from before. Sorry. Sorry, I just forgot to click on the icon for the uh, for the notifications. I apologize for the sniffing. I have allergies in the morning. I apologize if you hear that. I'll try to edit that out so you guys don't hear me sniffling. Uh, but I apologize. It's just allergies. I, I can't wait to go on vacation. I'll be going soon. And hopefully that helps me a little bit. So here's a follow-up on the ticket that we talked about which was outlook outlook password prompt issue and it's outlook just getting a pop-up the asking agent or user to log in constantly and my suggestion was let's see here since they've already uh, configured uh, two email accounts meaning that they created a new local account uh, my suggestion was to uh, please make sure that you, if you use SSO login, if you happen to change your computer password on that website, the password is also replicated at local level. So sometimes when you get a pop-up on Outlook where it's asking you to put in password all the time, that usually happens whenever the credentials haven't been updated locally um, on local level. And this can happen with SSO password. There's a full explanation in the previous video as well. And then we did not get a response however i did notice a comment somebody left a comment i forgot to get, uh, record your name on here i apologize but somebody suggested and i was talking to them uh, that they also seen this issue and they had to specifically delete um, i guess from the credentials manager the login information for the outlook which definitely ties into what i was saying um, to basically update the credentials in case you've changed the password. Um, in my case, I thought that when you create a new local account for Outlook, 
that it would actually do that but uh, a viewer was saying that it actually doesn't do it or they should do it sometimes but there's a credentials manager that could still be holding on to it so and this is especially true with office 365 uh, products or office 365 version of outlook so credentials manager could be um, something that's just inside of your chrome like you know how chrome saves your passwords and stuff like that it could be like something like that and we didn't get a response to this so we're going to go ahead and resolve it and normally you would leave an eternal note to say why you resolved it this and that that of course never close any tickets until you resolve them i'm just doing this because uh, this is for educational purposes and so that way i can keep track of things uh, as you saw earlier it's like i'm trying to get situated a little bit here uh, because uh, there are a lot of things to keep track of uh, issue with storage hp server that gets restarted automatically and i suggested and showed how you can go to the event viewer and how you can find the kernel power log errors which should guide you into understanding why a computer or in this case a server would restart reboot or shut down we didn't get any response so i'm assuming uh, everything's okay so i'm going to move on to uh, tickets that we haven't worked and um, unassigned issues here we go assign ticket to myself so i can get credit and it says here my desktop uh, loses internet connection few times per day okay maybe four or five times a day i lose internet connection but it would it would come back after maybe five to ten seconds Sometimes it will not come back and just say no internet connection. I would restart the computer to get back to the internet. I am on the home network and connected on LAN. I have tried to change the wire, but still the same. My other computer on the same network has no problem. Okay. So there are many reasons for this. Um, you've, you've kind of stated things of your situation, which, uh, stated facts about your situation, which is great. I really appreciate that, but I will go ahead and cover a lot of things that may cause this. So we've got a situation where you lose internet four, four to five times a day. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is that there is an issue with an ISP, right? Your internet service provider, whoever provides you internet. You know, if you're losing it four or five times a day, uh, then that is highly likely to be the cause, right? And then from there, you would move on to trying to do some basic things on your local end, like resetting your modem, like your internet modem. You would basically just unplug it from the wall. This is what I usually tell users and not to go any further. Uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with modems and how they work, is to unplug it from the wall the power just the power unplug it from the wall wait like 10 seconds plug it back in so this will reset it and what that would do would reassign or acquire a new ip address hopefully hopefully it should require a new ip address for that modem okay so it's kind of similar to this if you were to Open up a command line, type in IP config forward slash uh, all. It will give you an IP address of your computer. And if you're directly connected to the modem itself, this is what the, your IP address would be directly for that modem and given to you from the modem, chances are. And this, this would be it here, IP address. And th assuming that you're directly plugged into the modem, and there is no switch or a router in between okay so you're directly plug into the modem there is no other network right so when you unplug your your uh, modem from power you know you pull the plug you wait 10 seconds this is what you're doing ip config forward slash release uh, well, I can't do it. If I hit release now, it's going to uh, disconnect me from remote desktop. But this is the command that you would do. 
it releases your IP address just like it says here okay it will release your IP address I almost uh, messed myself up here if I hit enter I would have lost connection to this remote desktop that I'm using okay so if you do this command IP config forward slash release it will release this IP address here okay so if you do a I, and then afterwards if you want to see that you don't have a new that you don't have an IP address you can again do IP config forward slash all and it will run the uh, it will get the settings and show you information it would instead of saying this it would just be blank or zero I forget exactly but there would be no IP address but when you unplug it you do this this is what's happening IP config release so when you plug it back in when you plug back in when your modem gets power again after 10 seconds this is what it's doing renew it does IP config renew and you can do this on your own computer as well just to see what happens and this will renew your IP address and you will get new IP address again okay so that's one of the things that, that I'm thinking about uh, and then you said here but I it, but it would come back after maybe five to ten seconds so this what this tells me is that there is some kind of a um, connection issue in the sense that either the the signal is bad right the either signal is bad so if you are um, doing wireless connection then you may be just too far from the router or you know, to, from the router let's just stick to the home setup here from the router or a hot spot uh, that could be the cause right you move away farther and you may lose connection because you're losing signal however he did uh, mention and lame is the name is Lantistos Lantistos um, I apologize if I mispronounced your name but thank you for submitting ticket by the way uh, so user mentioned that uh, it would you know it would be five to ten seconds uh, it would come back but also mentioned that they are connected uh, physically here because they've mentioned changing the wire which I'm assuming is the cable network cable right so wireless issue is out of question so what's the other thing that could be causing here it would come back after maybe five to five to ten seconds this could be an issue where your router is simply running out of IP addresses to provide to lease as what they call so every time you connect a computer to a network whether it's your home network or any other business network uh, you will get an IP address and you will get a lease on it basically how long it lasts before the lease on it meaning like I'm allowing you to use this IP address for this amount of time um, if you happen to disconnect and here it is a lease obtained right and it tells you when it was obtained and then when the lease expires so this one is literally 24 hours if I'm disconnected by then I will lose this lease so here's your computer and let's say this is your router and you've got other computers on the network which you know like this one two three four five if suddenly number five here is disconnected like it's it's no longer connected to this switch here let me see if i can i'm gonna say I'm gonna call it a router here R slash modem right and then we got your PC here PC and these are just other computers right and then if you suddenly lose connection to this one disconnects it's no longer available it's no longer connected then now you suddenly can get an IP address to this computer so this is what I was telling you earlier 
However, if this whole thing is not a problem, right? If this whole thing is not a problem, then you actually may have a physical issue with the network adapter itself. You can view this in device manager. You can observe this while you're losing connection. Uh, let me see here. Okay. You can observe this sometimes if there is an issue with the network adapter. Just getting this out of the way. Where are my network adapters? Here we go, network adapters. Not just network adapters, but uh, see, here's the one that I'm using right now. Not just network adapters, but any hardware. If there are some kind of issue where it's not working properly, you will see this thing go in and out. Literally, it would flash. It would uh, have some kind of an exclamation mark on it. Um, it would sometimes try to reinstall a driver for it. And then you would see this. It would be, uh, you would see some icons here happening uh, that would indicate this. And it would basically be your setting. It would be doing something like this, and then it would suddenly be installed. And it would do something like this, and then it would suddenly be gone. This, what this is doing, it's refreshing the screen and updating it in, in real time. So look at this here. And of course, you can go to the event viewer. As I've showed in previous video, go to the event viewer, Windows logs, system, and do um, just look for uh, critical errors. And you can do a custom view here, just like we did previously here, and look for critical and do error uh, and, and do a warning one as well here. And then just click OK and say anytime just to make it simple to see what's going on if it happens if it's happening now do a last hour because this can take forever if the computer's been running for a while uh, click, click OK and then you will see any issues that may come up that might have like an exclamation mark you know so yeah look through the through the um, event viewer see if anything you know comes up here and then you can view the details and if there are issue with the network adapter it will show up in here and you would just you would see it it would be apparent and you can you can kind of sort by source this and that and if it's if it happened recently it will definitely coming up it'll tell you that you know it's losing connection this and that i hope that's easy to understand now let's see did i miss anything i am on the home network connected on lan well i mean that's given uh, but I think I know what you mean. You mean local area network, which I think you're assuming that uh, when you're when you say LAN, that LAN is not including wireless, but it actually is. When you're connected to the wireless, you're still connected to the network. You're just connected wirelessly. It's still local area network. But I know what you mean. You're physically connected, and then you say I have tried to change the wire, but still the same. My computer. Uh, on the same network, my other computer on the same network has no problem. If if that's the case, you know, it's it's most likely the network adapter in this in this situation is what I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, uh, unless you know, go through the router if you can log into it and see the network settings. You know, make sure that you know it's a, that that it's able to provide more than one IP address. Uh, but uh, if it's just this one computer that's causing the problem, I would look at the hardware issues uh, rather than anything else. Uh, meaning that your, you know, LAN port. And let me just do this real quick. LAN port. You know, look at this in, in the back. Here it is, right here. On the back of your computer. You know, just check that. Uh, well, I mean, you, you can look at it physically, but w w what I showed you to look at the device manager, that's what you should be looking at. And that's most likely the problem. Get a different driver, update the driver for it. And uh, yeah, just update the driver. Let me show you this real quick. Sorry, I'm spending a little bit more time on this one, but I like it because it's not a common, uh, it's not a common ticket that I get. So see right now, I'm just, I have it open without being administrator, but if you just right click it and just update the driver, or, you know, if you go to properties, look at the driver and update the driver here. Uh, or you can go to the manufacturer for your computer, whether it's HP or a custom built computer, it's going to have 
specific drivers that you can download and install. So that's your best course of action. And this is the type of note we will leave. So we're going to leave a note here and says, hello, this is Irvin with PC support. I swear I'm holding shift every time. There it is. I don't know. I guess my shift is messed up uh, whenever I try to type that C. Anyways, this is Irvin with PC support. Uh, please check below or please um well please watch my video because that's the best way for me to explain this to you but um you know what i'm going to i'm I, i'm going to say please update the network adapter driver you can go to the uh, man, manufacturer, manufacturer. See, I wasn't going to say this because I don't know how to spell this properly. Manufacturer. Aha. Thank God for spell check. Oh my God. You can go to manufacturer's website to download an updated driver also please watch my video this sunday this sunday please watch my video on possible other solutions this sunday okay i think that's cool we're gonna leave that open but yeah english is my second language guys guys and gals i know i sound american sometimes but it's because i lived in america for oh since 96 and i was a teenager when i came here so I, when I learned English, I tried to learn as best as I can because I didn't like, I didn't want people to ask me to repeat myself. You know what I mean? Otherwise, I would have a heavier accent. Now I just have a little bit of an accent, but it doesn't mean that I'm good at spelling. So thank God for technology and spell checker. Uh, let's do one more from Lantistos. Oh, that's interesting. I'm a broker and I have multiple Excel files open, maybe 20 or so. Oh, wow. Okay. But it's no longer responding. Well, you kind of answered your <laughs> uh, question here, but I'll definitely talk about it. I'm just joking. Uh, how can I close an app or program that is not responding all at once? Restarting computer is not an option. Thanks. So, I mean, this is a really quick answer for this. You know, you can just go to task manager, find Excel and just select it in here. Let's say, for example, what can I close here? Let me open up here. I'm going to open up a VLC media player here. VLC media player. Oh, wow. I haven't. So it's running in the background, but let's pretend like it's not responding. So all I have to do is just find it, select it. If things are jumping up and down like this, and you, all you have to do is just um, click here on this column here where it says name, this will stop them from moving, from jumping around because it will sort it. It will sort it. Um, and then you can look. As a matter of fact, if you can't find it, you just start typing in VLC. You see that? It just finds it. If, you, you know, if you're looking for Excel, just type in E... EX, you know, and here it is. You just select it and then you select end task and you will get a problem in a prompt that says it's not responding, blah, blah, blah. But end task should kill it immediately. Now, let's kind of talk about, uh, you know, having 20 plus um, Excels open. I understand what you're doing because you're a broker, you know, that's cool. And... Excel is kind of notorious for being slow, even if it's just one or two open. Uh, and especially if you're if, if you're trying to open up Excel from 
uh, from a remote location. For example, let's say there is a shared drive and you open up that shared drive and then inside of that drive there is Excel and that everybody can look up and then now it has to go over the network and then open up on your local computer. It's Excel is kind of notorious for being slow. So, and I know you're just asking here, how can I close an app that's not responding all at once? And, and, and I showed you, this will not force you to restart or anything like that. Now, I want you to keep in mind that when you do a task manager like that, on off chance, and I'm just sharing it from personal experience, and when you kill something like that, when you kill a, kill a process that's running in the background, any of these, any of these, see here's paint, I'm going to kill it here, and it's just gone. However, remember all the stuff that I wrote in there, all the stuff that I drew in there, all those explanations that I was showing you, that's gone too. So keep that in mind, that if you're killing anything, chances are you're losing all the data. And there is a chance, especially when you have this many open, 20 plus, that you might even lose data that's been there forever, that hasn't been edited recently, what I'm trying to say is you could corrupt all of these Excel files and and I know you have no choice sometimes to do it and I do it sometimes, but only when there's absolutely no choice. However, I do want you to know that you may lose data and I don't want to give you advice and then you lose data. And then you'll lose data. I, that's one of the high, high, high important things. And everybody else who is watching who is doing tech support and who's going to do tech support, do not close anything, let alone task manager out of anything until you are talking to the user and say things like, you know, let's say you have a chat open with them. This is the best way to do it, but you can do it verbally if you're talking to them on the phone, um, especially if the phone call is being recorded, you know, you're doing help desk, but even if it's in chat, you can say, um, I need to close Excel. Is that okay? Because I don't want you to get in trouble. I do not want you to get in trouble for corrupting somebody's data, for losing somebody's data, okay? Uh, this is just for your own protection. May I close Chrome so that I can reset it and then wait for them to respond so that way you have a confirmation from them whenever because this this will happen this will happen this is just a friendly warning this will happen you will close something you will lose data even if it's not your fault the some of some users not all but some are quick to judge they will send an email to your boss and say ever since Irvin worked on my computer. My this or that is not working. And I've lost my files. And then even if it's not your fault, even if it's just something like bookmarks got removed or their history got cleared. They'll, they, they will blame you for it because people are always looking for some, some excuse, you know, to blame somebody else for something. Again, it doesn't happen often, but I want you to uh, safeguard yourself, protect yourself and have job security and be professional about it, okay? Um, that, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I think that's good enough. Just be careful. Don't willy nilly shut down things unless you get a confirmation because you'll have people that have 10 different tabs open and 10 different websites open. And if you ask them, is it okay if I close Chrome? That should imply that, you know, that, that they're okay with you closing 10 different websites and everything they haven't saved on that computer. I'm sorry to go on a tangent about this, but it's just for your own good and for anybody who's new, 
uh, to IT to protect them, you know, for your own protection. And uh, yeah, just be very careful, make sure that they're okay with it. And if you do ask them, they will a lot of times come back and say, okay, hold on, let me save my work. Th that's another thing. You can also just general blanket statement, general bl a blanket uh, question. You can say, do you need to save any work before I, before I take control of your computer, right? Computer, 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 question mark, computer, did I spell that correctly? Oh my God, computer, oh my God. See, I told you I was bad at spelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is a blanket this is a good one do you need to save any work before i take control of your computer this is in my opinion the best one if you want to write this down pause the video and write it down <laughs> i'm going to reply and i'm going to say uh you can close Excel without restarting by using the task manager to kill the process to kill the process slash application. I'm going to leave it at app, but keep in mind that there is there is a small risk of losing slash corrupting of data. I'm going to leave it at that because uh, Lantistos is a broker and when you say data, he knows exactly uh, what, what I'm talking about. So, uh, but yeah, but uh, I'm going to say, yeah, please watch my video with more explanation. On Sunday. I'm going to close this one because it's just kind of simple fix. Simple action, I should say. All right. So. All right. We got one more from Lantistos. We're going to save this one for the next one. Uh, just to uh, just to give a chance to other people. Uh, we are. So we have seven tickets available. Uh, please submit more tickets. I will put a link in the first comment. Uh, people that are watching, please submit more tickets because we're running out of tickets here to talk about. And if we run out of tickets, there won't be, uh, I'm not saying there won't be any more videos, but it'll take me longer to come up with things to talk about. You know what I mean? I almost want to end this one, this video here a little bit early, uh, just to make sure that we have enough videos for the next you know couple of weeks at least yeah i'm i'm sorry i'm gonna have to end it here because seven tickets is simply yeah i'm gonna have to dean i was gonna i'm sorry man i i was gonna talk about your next but i promise you i will talk about it in the next video i'm sorry i just have to end it because that way if i if i keep going then i'm not gonna have future videos basically potentially uh you know i I, it doesn't sound right for me to say this, but this is just what the situation is. These are the facts. You know what I mean? These, this is what we are working with. Uh, so I'd rather uh, wait a little bit and have spread out videos in between uh, because that way it'll, it'll be more content and hopefully you know, a few more tickets come through here. At first, I was getting a lot, a lot of tickets, but then recently people haven't been... Um, putting in tickets and I know a lot of people who are watching are people who are working tech support please just do me a favor 
And if you're enjoying this, only if you're enjoying this content, you know, I don't want you to like feel like obligated. Oh, I have to do this. You don't have to do anything, right? Uh, but if you appreciate my content, my content is always 100% free, right? I don't charge nobody for nothing. And I'm basically giving out my knowledge for free, right? And and that's okay. But the least the, the least thing people can do is if they're if they're enjoying my content and if they benefit from it, uh, to um, just submit a one ticket, submit one ticket with an issue that you have had encountered this week, for example. And I'm assuredly from working a bunch of tickets or issues mentioned. It doesn't matter how complicated it is or w whatever it is that you issue that you're worked in, on issue that you worked on please submit that uh so that way we have more content to talk about i really appreciate it i man i really hate that i have to ask you because it's like it's not your nobody's uh, nobody's uh required to do anything because it's my channel right this is my responsibility but it would be nice to have uh, more assistance and of course I appreciate everybody so far who has been uh, submitting tickets and all of these who all these people who are here who have submitted tickets I promise to get to you it's just that it'll take a little bit longer simply because tickets are running out at this point so I hope you have a wonderful day uh, I hope uh, I hope you're doing well I hope your family is doing well and I hope you have a happy Sunday and uh, take care bye bye